This video covers the CVAP Programmer Desktop application. The CVAP Programmer Desktop application allows you to program your Winston CVAP Series 5 and Series 7 HOV, CHV, and RTV equipment. Go to winstonfoodservice.com. Locate Support in the upper menu. From the dropdown, select Firmware and Presets. Next, select CVAP Programming. This will take you to the CVAP Programmer page. Under Desktop Programmer, click the Launch Programmer button. The first page is the general setting. Here you will name your file. This will be the name of your XML file, not your channel names. Type in the file name. We will call our file Monday's Menu. Next, select Equipment Type. If you are unsure, check your serial number tag on the upper right hand side of the unit. For this video, we will select RTV. Select which series you have. This information is located on the serial number tag as well. Select the temperature scale, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Click Apply and Proceed. Next is the general settings. This page allows you to either keep the default security, volume, and tuning settings, or change them to a different setting. If you want to change these default settings, select No, then click Apply and Proceed. The next general settings page allows you to set the security lock to on or off, set the alert volume, and adjust the cabinet tuning. Click Apply and Proceed after making your selection. If you don't want to change the default settings, highlight Yes, and then click Apply and Proceed. Next is the last General Settings page. From here, you can change the default temperature display. Set the display to either air temperature or evaporator temperature. Highlight your desired setting and then click on Apply General Settings. We will now program individual channels. You can program up to eight different channels. Starting with channel one, name the recipe. Select the cooking process. Here we will choose Cook and Hold, then click Apply and Proceed. Next are the cook settings. If you're programming a Series 7 unit, you will select either Probe, or timer. Probe will prompt you for a final temperature. Timer will prompt to set cook time or infinite. Whether program is series 7 or series 5, you will next select your cook time, infinite or set. If you're using a set time, select set and then add your cook time. Press apply cook time. Now set the vapor temperature. You have the option to turn off the water heaters at this point. If using water heat, select set and add a vapor cooking temperature. Click apply vapor temperature. If you are unsure of the ideal vapor temperature, refer to our cooking guidelines for suggestions. Next, you'll set the air temperature. At this point, you can set the air heaters to off Set or sous vide. If sous vide is selected, the vapor temperature has to be set between 90 and 150 degrees. If your vapor temperature is set too high, select Previous Page and set the vapor temperature within that range. If not using sous vide mode and not turning air heaters off, highlight Set and fill in your desired overall temperature. Besides off, the lowest you can set the air temperature is equal to the vapor temperature setting. After filling in your air cook temperature, press Apply Air Temp. Next, set the high yield on or off. High yield reduces air temperature during initial browning to increase yield. This is often used when cooking large proteins. If your unit is a Series 7, you'll have the option to turn convection fans on or off. After selecting these final two settings, press Finalize Cook Settings. 
The next menu is the hold settings. Set the hold time. Select either infinite or set. If set is chosen, fill in desired hold time and press apply hold time. Next, set desired hold vapor temperature and then press apply vapor temperature. Now set your desired air holding temperature and apply air temperature. If the unit is a Series 7, you will now have the option to turn the convection fans on or off during the hold cycle. Press Finalized Hold Setting. The next menu page allows you to review your channel settings. You can go back to make changes by pressing the previous page button. If you want to continue to program the other channels, press begin next channel. Repeat the process for each program channel. Once you have programmed your desired channels, verify that USB drive is ready to upload by checking that the USB is formatted to FAT or FAT32, which is standard formatting for most USB drives. Make sure there are no other XML files on the drive and that the drive is smaller than 4 GB. Next, press Save to File. A Leave Site warning will appear. If you have reviewed and verified your settings and are certain in your settings, press Leave. You may get a warning on your toolbar asking Keep or Discard. Select Keep. Your XML file will appear on your download toolbar. Select Show in Folder. Then transfer the file to your USB drive. Remove the USB drive from your computer. Turn on your Winston cabinet and insert your USB drive. Using the dial, scroll clockwise to USB and press Enter. Using the dial, scroll clockwise to upload presets and press Enter. If the control displays no drive detected, remove the USB drive, reboot the cabinet, and try again. The control will display overwrite current settings. Press Enter. The control will display new settings loaded and then return to the home screen. Your new channels are now programmed.